This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Saturday, August 15th, 2020. And the title of this rant is, Does Trump Plan for a Decade of Unending Caging with Private Prisons? Uh, so the thing with the post office is a big deal. I'm glad the mainstream media is all over it. But what's going on behind the scenes is just as important and is just as relevant to what's going in for this election. So right now, uh, ICE, our friends at the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, are trying to sign or in the process of signing 10-year contracts with private prisons. Private prisons uh, which are not uh, doing anything in terms of meeting the standards of being a private prison under a government contract. Um, can, they're part of the conspiracy of caging children, of taking children from their parents, um, of li having them live in deplorable conditions with terrible hygiene and terrible medical conditions. We also know that COVID has broken out in many and on a number of those places. And why are they doing this? They want to keep the caging to go on. Uh, and they want to sign these contracts so that we, are, we have to, uh, 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 let's say, abide by them for the next 10 years. So let's just say uh, Biden comes in, Vice President Harris takes over, uh, there's going to, there, but, uh, and to relinquish all this, but there are thousands of contracts with all the agencies that this current administration, Trump, has effed all over the place that need to be looked at. But if we look just at ICE, oh yeah, yeah, we can, you know, we have to look at them, we have to find the flaws, we have to change it as we can. There's gonna be put back, there's gonna be lawyers involved. You have to bring in specialists all over the place. In the meantime, there still are plenty of people that are being caged right now. We have to find a way to get them out. We have to legally go back to court in a lot of ways to get them released, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A lot has to be done. A lot of time is gonna be taken up in doing all of this type of stuff. You know, uh, let's just say, uh, Obama had a lot of people, there were a lot of people that were being held by ICE before. ICE is a terrible organization. They, there's a lot of rot there all over the place. For some reason, there seems to be a lot of people in there who enjoy hurting other people, especially people of color, because it allows them to think that they're morally superior, etc., etc. Terrible, terrible stuff. So there's got to be a wholesale uh, um, breaking up, uh, um, doing all kinds of stuff. I can't think of all the right words to say, but ICE has to be broken down. We have to go in and change uh, uh, the whole format of what ICE's prerogative is, how they're going to do it. And the people that are involved in there, we have to get rid of, as they say, the rotten apples. And there are a lot of rotten apples in there. It's going to take a long time, especially when you consider there is that type of rot everywhere in every single agency within the country. All of that has has to get, get moved aside. All of it has to be looked at. All of it has to be, uh, uh, Congress has to pass additional laws, has to pass funding. There has to be all kinds of lawyers involved in all of this. But this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to have contracts right now that'll go on for the next day, next decade. And with ICE especially, they want to have that continued unending caging of our sisters and brothers Brown sisters and brothers at the border strictly because they, they want to inflict pain on others. And this will take a decade of democratic leadership and in, incredible follow through, incredible legislation, incredible looking at all of these contracts, et cetera, for this to change. And it has to start now and when we get this new administration in.